Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick review on the Cold Steel Pipe Hawk. The Pipe Hawk comes reasonably sharp, just as the rest of the Tomahawks do. I was able to touch this up to make it a bit sharper, but that wasn't a big deal at all. The Cold Steel Pipe Hawk is, of course, modeled after historic Pipe Hawks, except it has a little twist. A historic Pipe Hawk would actually have a pipe bowl right here, and that would lead to a hole that was in the handle, and that hole would also go this way for smoking purposes. Cold Steel had the bowl filled in so that it still has that same look, but this can be used as a hammer, because realistically, let's face it, I don't think most would actually use this for smoking, and it's cool to have that added addition of a hammer while still having a traditional look at a distance. And as a hammer, this works quite well. The added weight here also makes this better for chopping. Also with the hammer on the back, you have the ability to strike with it in a martial application. So you can strike with the back of it that way, rising strikes that way, you can hook with it if need be, although obviously it doesn't protrude nearly as much as, say, a spike would, but it does uh, protrude, so you do have hooking capability. And here it is compared to something like the Spike Hawk. As you can see, you definitely would get much more hooking capability with the spike, but if you like the hammer, then you can still hook with it in certain applications. The factory handles on these are insanely long, this isn't the factory handle, this is a replacement handle, because I actually broke the factory handle. But this is almost the same length. This is a 20 inch handle, and the factory handle was 22 inches. So, extremely long. The nice thing though about the handles being so long, is the fact that you can cut the handle down to your preference, and to fit your purposes. This longer handle, would be better for chopping into wood and things like that if you're actually going to use this as, you know, a camp tomahawk. Also, for martial arts purposes, the longer handles obviously give more reach, give more options. You can hold it like this, you can hold it like this. There's a lot of options you have and you still get some good reach from it. If you're someone who throws tomahawks and you plan on actually throwing this, then you'll probably want it closer to this length. Most competitors, I've found, prefer handles that are around 13 inches, which is what this here is. 13 inches is the minimal requirement for competition. The blade length is 3 and 1 inches, and the weight with this current handle is 1 pound 9.3 ounces, so the weight isn't too bad at all. This tomahawk does not come with a sheath from the factory. Cold Steel does offer a nylon sheath as an option, but I decided to make myself a Kydex sheath for it, as you can see. That is a flat dark earth Kydex, and what I did is this here is paracord, and this here is shock cord. The shock cord is to help keep the sheath on if this were to fall or anything, just for added security. The Kydex has a good fit, this is just um, peace of mind pretty much for me, and then you just pull that off, and you can pull it by the paracord, you can pull it by the shock cord, it doesn't really matter. Another option is Cold Steel sells this sheath for the Spike Hawk. The blade shape between the Spike Hawk and the Pipe Hawk are very similar. As you can see, they are pretty much the same. The Spike Hawk might be wider by about 1 16th of an inch, if that, but pretty much they are the same size, they are the same shape, as you can see. And as you can see, the blade fits very well. There's a little bit of wiggle, but that's not a big deal. So if you want something traditional, you can always buy this sheath and just cut off this portion of it, so you would just have the blade cover. You will have that visible where those straps went in, but this wouldn't be a bad option if you want something traditional. The steel is 1055 carbon steel. 
and it does hold a decent edge. After throwing this, if you do throw it, of course, you will have to touch up the edge. If you are chopping into wood or anything, once again, you will have to touch up the edge a bit. But that's pretty much common with most axes, from what I've seen, and most tomahawks, from what I've heard. This tomahawk, along with all the other cold steel tomahawks, actually has a place for a set screw. And on this one, it's right there on the side. That set screw actually causes these handles to get damaged more if you're throwing them. Because what ends up happening is, when the handle wants to come out, as opposed to being able to just come out, now that set screw is gouging a nice little groove into the handle. So it's taking the damage that it would normally take, plus it's getting gouged by the set screw. So as a result, none of my tomahawks actually have the set screw. I took it out, I made sure that the handles have a good, proper fit, and then what I just do is I take a rubber mallet and I tap right on the handle right there. And of course, if you're out in the field or whatever, you can just tap it on the ground like this. I just like the rubber mallet because it will basically secure it even better than doing this. This is an example of a handle that had that set screw, and as you can see, it actually gouged the handle. One last con is that the factory handles that come with these tomahawks are very thin. I don't know if they're doing that because maybe they're trying to achieve some type of particular balance or what it is, but the handles, in my opinion, are not good. Other than the bad fit, they're very thin. So if you're actually wanting to use the tomahawk for say chopping or anything like that, the handles are so thin that it makes it uncomfortable in my opinion. So if you're planning on using these tomahawks for chopping, in my opinion your best bet would be wrapping them in tape of some kind, uh, tennis racket tape, hockey tape, athletic tape, whatever, um, even paracord would be a good option for on there, and of course would give you some spare cordage if you want that or uh, carve thicker handles for these tomahawks. The thicker handles still are not super thick, but they are thicker. So these actually fill the hand better than the factory handles. The grain on these handles is sort of hit and miss. This is not the pipe hawk, but this is a factory handle that I just shortened up. And the grain as you can see, is running at an angle. That is not the best. For a tomahawk or any axe, you actually want the grain to be running this way, pretty much. So, you want the grain to run in the direction from the edge to the back of the tomahawk. At an angle is less than ideal, and completely sideways is bad. The grain on some of these handles is better, and I'm sure some of it is worse, so the grain is very much hit or miss on these handles. These tomahawk heads do come with a paint finish on them. In my opinion, it's a really cheap looking finish. It looks really bad. It's actually shiny black. To me, it would be better if it was flat black. But, um, you know, it is what it is from the factory. As you are chopping and throwing these, the paint will wear off. On the contact points obviously. I just decided to take the finish off entirely. Now this is more prone to rust but uh, keep it oiled and it's not a big deal. And keep in mind even with the paint finish the bare metal will rust. Just the paint minimizes the spots that it can rust. So that's something to keep in mind. With the paint finish on all of these tomahawks it says made in Taiwan right on the blade, which I don't like. However, the good thing is, if you do decide to take the paint finish off like I did, it's just scratched into the paint, it's not scratched into the metal. So, none of my tomahawks say made in Taiwan on them. So that's pretty much it, that's a review on the Cold Steel Pipe Hawk. I think it's a good buy for the price, you can get these for around $25, so not too bad at all. Depending on where you buy them, you can get them for even less. And the handle issues aren't that bad for the price, in my opinion. You're going to have to fit the handle, obviously, but that's not too bad. 
That's pretty much it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll see you next video. See ya.